Martin, what's the problem? What's the problem? You're the problem, Gina. Coming up in here wearing all that, that nothing. Oh, really? Well, when Miss Bozak was wearing nothing, you thought she was all that, Martin. Oh! Oh, oh yeah, remember! Oh! Remember? It, 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 is that what this is all about, Gina? Yeah. It, it ain't like that, Gina. So, Mrs. Bozak doesn't do anything for you. Gina, please. Baby, I like my woman classy. Not showing all the assy. In the three years I've been doing commentary videos on the Real Street Ministry by Abdullah, I've never once covered or spoken about the Russell Wilson and Sierra situ situation. But now I'm compelled to speak about it because it needs to be told. And due to the recent events, and, I, and it's obvious everybody has seen the, the infamous photos and, 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 and videos of Sierra wearing basically a see-through dress at some event her and Russell Wilson attended. Everybody has been giving Sierra a heavy dose of backlash, criticism, and it's well deserved. However, I'm going to take a different stab at it. And I'm going to put all of this on Russell Wilson himself. Russell Wilson is the blame for all of this. Russell Wilson has allowed his wife to do things that even he himself is completely embarrassed about. And I, for one, don't feel sorry for him at all. So what I'm implying to you all is that Russell Wilson is responsible for this. Russell Wilson got with Sierra at a time where she was getting over the breakup of the father of her first child, which is Future. Everybody know who Future is, so ain't no need for me to um, go into detail about it. But he accepted her and accepted her child, calling her child his son and all that, and trying to make a skeptical of, of, of Future, trying to make him seem like a bad guy. But now, nearly a decade later, and now you got Sierra out here making songs talking about why all the single independent women at home need no man but you clearly married. And now you out here showing off all of your physical assets at a gala. And you can tell by the picture itself, you look at Russ. I mean, it's in the screensaver. And you look at Russ, he is utterly and visibly disturbed. But at the end of the day, you welcome that. You accepted that. You gave her immense amounts of validation. So you gotta take the blame for that, homie. And ain't nobody gonna feel sorry for you because men like me, we don't respect guys like you who accept women who have obviously demonstrated and shown that she still wants to be out here for the street. And although I've never shared my personal insight into the matter, the fact of the matter is, Sierra was a woman that Russell Wilson should have never gotten with in the first place. She was never his type. She was never his first choice. So why did that man feel compelled to want to be with a woman who has clearly demonstrated that she does not respect him? The reason why she doesn't respect him is because he don't respect himself. Man, on some real shit, my woman or my wife could have never done nothing like that. She could have never been out here misrepresenting me and displaying poor taste of, of, of character and how she dressed. But instead of um, blaming the woman, and, I, and again, I don't disagree with anybody, you know, being very critical of Sierra, but this is reflective of how Russell Wilson really is. This man is displaying poor leadership and, and, and weakness of a man. But as a Christian man, you ain't supposed to have your woman out here displaying that type of um, poor report. She's supposed to be a direct reflection of you, and it's obvious that you weak and beta as hell. So you need to look within yourself as to why your wife continuously uh, wants to show off all of her physical attributes. But you don't have no respect for yourself as a man because if you did, you will not have been trying to get with her, instantly trying to validate her and looking at her as a god. You did not marry her for being a wholesome woman. You married that woman, man, because you seen her twerking in them videos back in the day and that's what you wanted. You sexually lusted over that woman. And then, got, and then once you got attached and married to that woman, now you found out how the woman really is. But do I have any empathy for you? Do I feel sorry for you? Do I have any mercy for you? Hell no. Because it's men like you that continue to allow women like that to get instant attention and, and validation. Y'all put decent women to shame by displaying women like her, but it's men like you you know, hoist these women up on a platform and a pedestal as if they the best thing smoking. Ever since this woman came into Russell Wilson's life, 
This man's career has been on the downside. It's been in a downward spiral. That man got the bag last year from Denver, and look what he did with on that team. Man performed very poorly. Teammates was constantly at odds against, against him. Even the new coach, Sean Payton, you know it's bad when the new coach got to come in and he got to tell you to stay the hell off the internet with your wife and focus directly on your game. Man, Russell Wilson is a potential Hall of Famer. Got a Super Bowl trophy. And, and, and you in and, and a potential Hall of Fame coach, Sean Payton, got to convince you and tell you at this stage of your career to stop being on the internet with your wife and focus on your game. I don't blame Sean Payton for that. Bro, they never paid you over 200 million. Yo ass better be practicing and improving your game and getting better. You better be learning shit from Patrick Mahomes or the Kansas City Chiefs. Is that Russ makes me really nervous. <laughs> I do. So yes, you do. For some reason, I don't know. I mean, I kind of know why, but I don't know. I always feel so wrong when, when I'm with you in this setting. But... Well, I do know everything about you, first of all. And second of all, I'm going to make you more nervous right now. You guys want me to make it more nervous? No, no, we don't. No, why? Well, I have a question for you. What? Serious question. No, what is going on? Can we have more babies? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, it would be perfect. Just give me one more at least. You know? But again? you want to be just as famous as your wife. Your wife was on the downside of her career when she got with you. And, and just by being with you at a time where you were winning Super Bowls with the Seattle Seahawks, now she instantly gets back in the spotlight. And what happened? Then Seattle got rid of you. They let you walk. Man, you supposed to have your jersey retired by the Seahawks. There's rumors going around that you was trying to get Pete Carroll fired. Many of your ex Seahawks teammates went 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 all in the media saying all kinds of bad shit about you. And, and it's poorly reflected on who you are as a person, dog. Look at how your wife feels. Even Future Clowning. Future made a song last year said, I still hit C. We know who he talking about. He ain't talking about throwing these on him. He talking about, <laughs> you know what I mean. So, Russ, how your wife displayed herself at that gala or whatever event y'all attended, it goes to show you have no respect for yourself because no self-respected man will ever allow his woman to make a public spectacle of herself. If that was my woman, even her buying that dress, that would have been a no-no for me. And if she still would have went along with, we're going to that event with that dress on, I'd have been divorcing her ass the very next day. And or if I weren't married to her and she still decided to go to that event with that on, bro, I'd have broke up with her right then and there. Cause as a man, I'm never gonna allow any woman that's in my presence poorly misrepresent me. No. You are a reflection of who I am. If I carry myself with dignity and respect, I'm going to have a woman on my arm or on my side that's going to carry herself with the same type of dignity and respect. There's plenty of brothers out here who got real decent sisters, beautiful sisters, I may add, and they carry themselves with class. And ain't nobody going to dare disrespect them because those women are displaying true femininity. Sierra, yeah, she doing all this for attention, but I blame you, Russ, for that because you're continuing to entice that and encourage that type of behavior. You got your wife all on the internet be twerking and all that stuff. She's a married woman and a mother. And this is the type of imagery she wants her children to see her as. But then they're gonna look at you as a father be like, Dad, why was you there when mom was doing that? And then your, your facial expression says it all. Obviously you don't approve of it, but you go along with it. Why? Because you worship that woman. And for all my young brothers that's listening to me, let me tell y'all something. Y'all better stop putting these women on these ultra high pedestals. While at the same time, they're continuously showing very little regard of any value to you. Never allow a woman to disrespect you, but never allow yourself to be disrespected. This is why I'm going at rust. Because of the simple fact, many women for years have been saying he's the typical idle man we want. When guys like us for years been saying, man, that dude a lame, that dude a clown. And now the women are finally seeing it. They go, they going hard at CC. But if we we gonna continue to go in on Rust, because as men we should never put ourselves in a position to where we have a um, disproportionate amount of lead, weak leadership. 
What I mean by that is, how as a man you allow this to continue to happen? How, how as a man you gonna give your woman authorization to make songs about women being single and independent don't need no man? She obviously needed you to solve for what she truly was. Yeah, he messed up by having a kid by her, but at least he ain't married to the bruh. Russ gets out here and marries this woman, calls another man's child his, raises that child to be his own child, and, it's, and at the end of the day, neither the woman or possibly the children ain't got no respect for it. And as men, we should never carry ourselves as that. And I'm going to end this off by saying this. In the opening clip, I showed that on um, footage of how Gina thought she had to dress extra slutty just to get Martin's attention. Not realizing that Martin had to just put on the front and a little bit of kiss acid, which I don't approve of neither, with, with um, the TV man's wife, just so he can get in. You feel me? But if Gina really thought about it, Martin didn't marry her under the pretense of her dressing real slutty and acting whores. Martin married her because she was a respectful, dignified woman who was a professional and who dressed classy and casual. That's why Martin said, I like my woman classy, not one showing all the ass, see? And maybe Russ need to start doing the same thing. After all, you a Christian, right? After all, you had your wife praying with you in the beginning of your relationship, right? You allowing that woman to take you down a dark road, homie. And I ain't gonna blame her for that. I blame you, because you're supposed to be the man to lead her in the proper direction, not the other way around. And many of y'all men today are getting that shit twisted because y'all trying to validate these women on a level that they have never earned. Stop being a beta male sent man China and allowing this type of nonsense to, to continue to occur. And be a man about yours and, and tell her outright. No, you even dare try to go out in public with me displaying that type of bullshit. I will cut you off like a bad habit and I won't think twice about it. But then again, in Russell Wilson's case, it's already too late. Homie too caught up. Cause he's too busy worshiping the broad. Instead of being a man and leading, teaching, and guiding the broad the way she needs to be guided, leaded, and taught. Brothers, we gotta do better. And let this be a lesson learned to y'all that don't be selling it and getting with women like this. Cause they do not represent true women in its truest form. And if you got some weak tendencies about you as a man, seek self-improvement before you ever try to get with a woman. Peace and love. May God bless each and every last one of you. Honey. I have to ask a favor from my favorite person to ever share the stage with me. I'll talk to you this. This is really my brother right here. And this is my favorite person to perform. You got to say no, bro. This is a good girl. I'm going to do this shit, bro.